Okay, then, then, no, no. <laughs> Don't no, no, no me again. I'm very annoying, ah, he. Hi, Ken Ho. What's the Leslie Yi Sing? This is my nyokyan. Hi, everybody. I'm Lisa. What's with all the Teochew? <laughs> Feeling very Teochew today because we are bringing you all to Teochew Paradise. Oh, you mean Paradise Teochew. Ah. That's right, because they've just opened a new outlet here at Niang City. That's right. How Teochew can you get? Eating Teochew food in a Teochew restaurant in a Teochew shopping centre. Yeah, and they've got a couple of opening specials, not just for this outlet, but also the reopening of the one at Scott Square. That's right. We've got dim sums going for $3.80 and some classic Teochew dishes going for $20. But before that, I feel another Teochew poetry coming on. He ting, go. Ati ubo, ahiabo. Let's go, let's go. <laughs> so you know that you're in a Teochew restaurant when you're being served this gang hu te. That's right. Remember when we were in Chao San, right? Everywhere we go, you know, everybody has a tea set and whenever they welcome you to the house, they'll serve you a cup of tea. Yeah, that's right. I mean, I'm so amazed. Like, every little corner in Chao Shan, right, some, they will definitely have a tea set. Come, jia te. Okay, jia te, jia te. This is a palate cleanser before we get into the main stuff. Alright, so we've got the uh, first lot of uh, dim sum. These are typically Teochew dishes, like mm -hmm. the Sui Ting Pao. That's right. The thing about Sui Ting Pao is like the transparency of the skin, right? That's right. Yeah, yeah so it looks very nicely done. Mm -hmm. Wow. The chef was saying there are like three different types of mushrooms in mm. here, if I'm not wrong. Mm. This is vegetarian. We know the skill of the chef just by assessing this first dim sum. Right. Mm. So this is the steamed dumpling Teochew mm. style. It's called the Chao Chou Feng Guo. Okay, mm -hmm. I must say that I haven't come across this <laughs> one before. Nicely made. So the difference between this and the, the other one is that this one there's meat inside. The quality of the dim sum is good. All the squares are, are done very nicely. Mm. Okay, this one I'm gonna use my hands because it looks like a pao and then it's got um, it's got the glutinous rice inside. What I was told is that the chef handpicked the peanuts, right, to make sure that they're of a particular size. So you don't have like very big, very small, it's like regular size. Mm. So that um, when you eat, right, it has that really nice mouthfeel. Okay. Savory flavour inside mm -hmm. and sweet at the same time, a sweet savory flavour which I which I really like. It reminds me of the Teochew zang, right? Yeah. Which is basically, you know, your glutinous rice with a little bit of uh, tau sa. So this is very definitely very, very Teochew kind of like yeah, dim sum. Zang. I remind you, uh, mm -hmm. for this opening special, it's three eight dollars eighty. I think it's, <laughs> it's it's really good. The specials are going to be available until the 25th of July. So make sure you hurry down and take advantage of it. We got this chi chong pan yeah. with the sesame seed. But uh, I realised that the chi chong pan uh, is very, very... Interesting because it's very small, it's very tightly rolled. Mm. Texture will be different. Are we supposed chopsticks? to use this? Yeah, but it feels as if it's they, easier with the chopstick. No, 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 they give this then we don't try la. Oh, okay. Wait, <laughs> la. Okay, then? Ne? No, no. <laughs> don't no, no, no me again. Eh? Very annoying. Eh? <laughs> all these uh, dim sum and all the the rolls are being done here. They steam their own rolls. Yep. And this is rolled um, extra tight. It, I guess it takes a lot of skill to do it like this. Huh? Mm. The sesame sauce has got that really nice peanutty... That roasted, mm, uh, roasted nutty flavour, yeah. yeah. It's not your regular kind of sesame sauce, yeah. so definitely recommend coming to eat this. I think we have to do this liu sa pao first because <laughs> when it's hot... For the camera. Okay, it's for, the, for you guys. <laughs> liu sa pao. Yeah, no decent dim sum restaurant these days okay. uh, will not have liu sa pao. Okay, here we go. Oh, wow. Yeah, Look at okay. how orange it is. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> give me half, oh, give me half. It's really liu. It's a liu. Okay. Okay, here we go. Okay. Wow, this one really look like very eggy. Hmm, eh? good. Good. Your favourite Zha Leong. Let's go okay. for it. Here we go. Zha Leong, as we know, it's not easy to make, right? You have yeah. to Zha your own uh, Yu Tiao first, mm. and then of course they make their own rice roll. My first impression is that it's really very crispy. Mm. I guess it must be done on purpose. Mm, my impression of Zha Leong is it's supposed to be chewy inside, crispy outside. This one is like crisp all over. I almost feel as if the version of Zha Leong that they're serving mm. here is mm -hmm. the crispy version rather than yeah. the, the very doughy version that we um, have more experience with. So 
I think to each its own. Uh. Mm. This one is interesting. Okay. This is Japanese black sugar, which yeah. is the the in thing, right? Everybody's like going for the Japan black sugar in the last few years at least. And this one uh, has to be fermented two days or something like that oh, yeah, in order right. to develop the flavour in mm. the dough. It's got some pumpkin yeah. seeds as well. Mm. Mm, nice, I like the smell, very good. It's nice. I was expecting it to come, you know, the usual maleko, the very thick, yeah. big one where yeah. you can really mm. get your hand into it. But it's got a nice flavour. Mm. Mm. I would say that this selection, right, this is the one that I am most impressed with. This sesame, Chi Chong Fan, uh, is something that I would highly recommend. And the rest are all competent. Alright, we're going to start with some Teochew classic dishes now. Mm -hmm, that's right, these are all going for $20 until the 25th of July. That's right, this is classic. La. This is the uh, prawn balls mm -hmm. and then you got the ngoh hiang. Mm. Yeah, that's good. Okay, la, I mean, I, it's good. But mm. well, this one is interesting. I don't think I've ever come across something like this before. There's a yam seafood pancake, right? You know, I love yam. Pretty Teochew people love yam. It looks very crispy. This is made with prawns and scallops and of course yam. Yeah, and it's pan fried. My first mm. impression that it's like a bunting kue, no? <laughs> I'm gonna give up. I'm gonna just eat it like pizza. <laughs> yeah, like. That's the easiest way, right? I would say that I taste more of the yam. Yeah, mm. there's a lot of yam in there. There's some seafood flavour, yeah, mm. but the, the yam is very dominant. So if you are a yam lover, oh, this mm. is good. <laughs> This is something that I will try to make at home. Because <laughs> uh, I like, I love yam. So recipe coming your way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is Irish fat duck yes. and pork belly. So two different types of fatty meats on yep. a plate on top of tofu. Yeah, this is classic Teochew braised uh, it's gravy. It's watery, it's yeah. not the thick uh, gravy. Mm -hmm. This is how you determine the quality of a Teochew restaurant. The chef told us that they actually have like 12 different types of spices that go into this braise mm. and it's done over a period of time and as there are more and more different dishes all the fats of all the different uh, meats go into mm. the braise as well. Yeah, I was just saying that uh, this, um, this, this, this braising sauce is quite interesting. It's not... It's like cinnamon, coriander kind mm -hmm. of taste. It seems to be a bit stronger. But, but very nice. Very nice, very well. Very well uh, braised, nice texture on the meat. It's not too soft. It's still got a bit of bounce, yet it's tender. Mm -hmm. And okay. this is the satay beef. <laughs> I mean, it's like, why do you have satay beef in a Tuchu restaurant? Where's the connection? This is from Hong Kong. According to the chef, satay beef is very popular in Hong Kong. But of course, satay originated in Southeast Asia. I guess some of the migrants here must have gone back okay. and then they brought back the recipe. Don't expect it to be like local satay, right? <laughs> it's, just, it's a bit milder. It doesn't have as much of that lemongrass. What's next is your favourite. Is it? My favourite, what is it? Uh, <laughs> the mullet fish. Mullet! <laughs> okay, we'll see, we'll see. As I said, I've never been a big fan of mullet. All they do to this fish, right, is they just steam it, mm -hmm. and then they chill it, and then they serve it. The beauty of the mullet is because of these two pieces, right? The, the roe, the oh. bao, they call it. Yes. This is the... It's fatty, roe. and it's, it's yummy, and, right. and the Teochew Ahia love it, especially my dad. They love this kind of thing. I've never learned to really enjoy it. <laughs> can I give this piece to you? Yeah, you can. <laughs> And um, I will just try a small piece. And you need to eat it with the uh, tau chiyo here. Tau chiyo, huh? Yeah. Oh, okay. Typical Teochew, right? Uh -huh. If you're uh, especially older generation, yeah. uh, you bring them here, they see this, they'll be super happy. How is it here? <laughs> <laughs> it's just a, it's an acquired taste, really. For me, it's really still, still very mullety. Okay, let me try. Mm. Actually, not too bad, lah. Not as bad as you make it out to be, lah, dear. Mm. Hey, la, guys, it's not as bad as he makes it out to be, lah. No, it's just me. I'm, I'm telling you, I can recommend it because I know a lot of people actually like it. Mm. It's just I, I, I'm not a big fan of mullet. That's what they go for. The yellow oil, the natural oil of fish. The mullet mm. is very oily. We have got one more dish to go, mm. and this, this is the classic kwetiao fried with chai po, and you can see that there's a lot of. Uh, the pork fat on top. Yeah, nice. Oh, I can smell that. Okay, can you smell it? Oh, okay. yeah. 
that's a good sign. So this is a very simple dish. You can get your wok hei in the kuei tiao, and then you got a thai po, which is nice and fragrant, and then you got a pork lard. I mean, that's a killer combination, right? Ooh. Mm. Wow. Dear, after huh? eating so many teochew, teochew dishes, yeah. right, I finally feel your teochew poem rising up. <laughs> <laughs> you got the spirit of being teochew? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We feel very teochew now. I'm half teochew, actually teochew. Yeah, I'm la, I am technically teochew. You're technically teochew, I know. Ki teng ti jia go, a ti wu bo a hia bo. That's right. And then? A ti se kia kyo a pe, a pe tia liu bo nai ho. Lak kai sa pao. <laughs> okay, I think we better stop here. <laughs> for those who are non Teochew, so sorry. Eh? But for those Kakinang Kakinang, yeah, that's right. Okay, make sure you come over to Paradise Teochew. Mm -hmm. We just tasted the food. You know, we don't mince words. If it's good, we tell you it's good. Mm. If it's not so good, you can see from our facial expression. <laughs> the dim sum. Surprisingly good, especially that glutinous rice one. I like the the clear one, the, the sweet chin chin I think that was really good. good. The, yeah. the mouth feel was really yeah. really excellent. Yeah. And when you put it in, you go, wow, this is really good. And then yeah. to price it currently for the promotion, yeah. uh, three eighty yeah. up to the twenty fifth of July. It's really yeah. a good uh, definitely, promotion. Definitely uh, worth. Yeah. I mean, uh, need to remind everybody that um, the dim sum specials is only available for lunch only. Okay. okay. And then for the teochew, the classic teochew dishes, there are basically ten of it that mm. is selling only at $20 yeah. and that's only available for dinner. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think the highlight was this kuih tiao. <laughs> kuih tiao, kuih tiao for was, you. was very for good me? and the low was uh, quite nice. Yes. For me, I think the mullet was a surprise for me. I was expecting it to be like very strong, very tau tau but it wasn't. It was actually very nice. Uh, surprisingly, I don't know, I, I, I'm surprised. If you're the kind <laughs> that like Fish. Mm. I mean, if you go to a sushi restaurant yeah. and you like the silver skin fish, like yeah. the aji and all this, you will love this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I just don't, I just don't go for the very strong flavored fish. Mm. I rather the the, the lighter flavored fish. Mm. Yeah. Okay, mm. so maybe just to remind everybody, the twenty dollars specials only for ten of the classic dishes, and it's available at the two branches here at Niang City Takashimaya and also the one at Scott Square. So that's it for us. We are signing up from Paradise Teochew here at Niang City. Okay, happy. Eating, signing off. Bye. Mm -hmm.